We talked with a mold removal company. The owner tells me many homes in Tucson aren't built for freezing temperatures and excess rain. So when pipes burst or water seeps inside the house, they're often not serviced or dried properly, and that's when mold starts to grow and multiply. Less than a square foot could actually contain tens of thousands of mold spores. So if somebody has allergies or if they're immune compromised, it could affect them seriously. Matt Horn owns Steamy Concepts, a mold remediation company. So all the ones on the bottom are dehumidifiers. That's what we use in a typical water damage scenario. Mold in particular, we use air scrubbers. We keep those in another room. Everybody has heard of black mold, um, but really that's referencing molds like Stachybotrys and Cladiosporium, and those have mycotoxins in them. So that's really what they're referring to. Those are the ones that people are concerned about in their home. We would see those usually under cabinets or uh, near water heaters or anywhere that you might have had any kind of water damage. But he says not every home requires professional treatment unless it's a recurring issue deeper in the wall. We go to jobs all the time where we'll see that and we'll tell them that's just mildew, just clean your shower, you know, because it will it will grow after a long period of time. If you're renting a home or apartment and suspect mold after you've cleaned and dried the area, take pictures and video. Then notify your landlord in writing that for health and safety reasons, you want them to fix it. Under the Arizona Landlord Tenant Act, they are required to maintain the rental. I'm Rebecca Taylor, 13 News.